Well, school. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, world. Good morning, Jamaica. See, Jamaica is a place that I love so much. I embrace this country. I really don't want to go anywhere. And a lot of people are departing this country with the mindset never to return because of indisciplined behaviors, indisciplined activities, indisciplined personalities, indisciplined way of life. And I'm a Jamaican and someone has to do something about it. And I believe that I want to give it a try. Say, I am hungry to speak, you know, walking back and forth on my veranda, thinking, meditating, talking to myself of what is it that I can talk about to reach the heart and minds of the people that need something to hold on to, needs a direction. I want to hit this generation and the next generation and the next generation, and the next generation, and beyond. See, we have control over many things, and some things we don't have any control over. In the same breath, what do we do with the things that we have control over. What is it that we can do? What is it that we are supposed to do? To develop a good mindset, a focused mindset, to identify and understand that there are more important things to do than the things that you are doing on a daily basis. To, to, to develop a mindset, to have dreams and goals that you can make it in this life. You can make it, you can develop yourself to a better expression of yourself from where you are. You are all you need to start. We have to snap out of that negative mindset we have to short circuit and override that negative mindset that is cluttering cluttering our minds blocking our vision robbing us of an opportunity to live a good life and i believe that we are highly separated from educating ourselves which is one of the most important tools that we need to take us through this experience called life it is mandatory that we educate ourselves on a daily basis, on a hourly basis. Do hourly check up on yourself. See where you are. What are you doing with your time? What are you doing with your life? Is it meaningful and constructive? Where are you stopping to for direction? Do you know what you are doing? Do you understand what good is it doing for you? And with that being said, the primary source of a change is educating oneself. I want to share my testimony of change because I was living in a negative mindset ignorant, confused, my mind was cluttered. I was in 
a world of no hope and no direction. Searching, searching, searching and don't know what I was searching for. I came across some good people that grabbed my undivided attention and I'm going to call some names. Ron Mouchette, Avery and Cole, Miss Venice Parchment, Les Brown, T.D. Jakes, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Denzel Washington, Jim Ron, um, Florence Chauvel Shin, um, Robert Kiyosaki, and many more. But these are the main people that helped me to cross the bridge from that side to this side. It's like the other side of the coin. So I was on that side of the coin. And in order to get on this side of the coin, it is a bridge that I had to cross. These people spoke and changed my life in mysterious ways, in ways that I even question myself sometimes. How did it happen? What statement, what line grabbed me so much, grabbed me, pushed me, chucked me, went to war with my attitude and my behavior and my personality and my mindset? There was a war that was taking place inside of me, creating the process of transformation, which was the bridge that got me here. And these people spoke and changed my life. And I want to speak and change. Jamaica's life, every single individual that is living on this country. It doesn't matter where you are from. It doesn't matter who you are. This is my contribution that we all, every single one, every single one of us can live a good life, can live a disciplined life. We have to be willing to educate ourselves. We have to be willing to learn. We have to be willing to make a difference. We have to be willing to create a declaration for our life. The change start with us. The change start with you. It is individual work, working on oneself. I can't live your life for you. You can't live your life for me. You can't live my life for me. You have to do your part. I have to do my part. And this is my contribution. Have a vision board. How many people have a vision board? A vision board is the first action taken in bringing whatever it is that is in your mind to reality write it write it what is it that you want to become and the earlier we catch this and understand this the, the, the faster we improve on our our behaviors our action our mental state of mind our attitude and our mindset i believe that 16 year old is a good age to catch this because when you are at the age of 25, your parents no longer responsible for your destiny. You have to find this out at a very early state of mind, at a very early stage of your life. That you can make a difference 
in your community, that you can make a difference in your home, that you can make a difference in this country, that you can make a difference in life and feel good about yourself. I believe that good things are supposed to happen to me. And that's a daily prayer for me every day. I can say this anywhere, even in the line of work. A negative intention cross my mind or negative things are happening around me. Trying to distract me, trying to get the best of me, trying to hold me, trying to grab me, trying to touch me. But with this mindset, it is like I'm surrounded by antivirus. That is fighting for me subconsciously, spiritually, mentally, physically and emotionally. In ways that I don't understand sometimes. And at the end of the day, this is what is happening for me. World School JA Foundation. I am running with this organization. With everything that I have got. And I am asking you to run with me, to grow with me, to help me, to educate me, to help me to do the things that I am supposed to do, to help me to say the things that I am supposed to say. Leaving your caring feedback is a start. I want to make a change for my life and I want to make a change for Jamaica and the rest of the world. I would like to touch the minds and hearts of people that are living in a mindset of procrastination, in a mindset of negative, negative intention, in a mindset of lust and confusion and hopeless and hurt and disappointments and heartbreaks. I want to say to you today, on the flip side of the coin, on the flip side of how you are living right now. Life has a beautiful side living inside of your mind. You just have to activate it. Why? Because life is so kind to us. The air that we breathe, the vision that we have, Living life is kind, kind to us. And I want to break this down. I want to simplify it in the simplest form that we have a, a complete understanding of exactly what I am trying to say. The trees, the, the chirping birds, the running of the river. The falling of the rain, the shining of the sun, the roaring of the sea. Life, the very air that we breathe, the water that we drink, the food that we eat. Earth is a good place to live. Jamaica is a good place to live. We are living because life is kind to us and we must live and understand that if life wasn't working for you number one you couldn't hear this number two you wouldn't exist or you would be long gone we have to live because that is what life is saying to us. Life is for living. And living is for life. And it is very important that we live. We learn how to live. And not be confused by sidetrack activities. That is robbing us of an opportunity to live a good life. This is what I programmed my mind to do on a daily basis. To keep my energy level up. To stay charged. I am so busy. There's over a million or a billion ideas coming to my mind every day. Every day. Hundreds and thousands and millions of ideas. 
rushing through my mind on a daily basis. I can't do everything about all of them. But I manage myself and manage my time. And be creative as I can be. I create my own Instagram page, Royal School JA Foundation. I create my own Twitter page, even though I don't do much over there as yet. I create my own YouTube page. And I stay busy, very busy in these areas. Check out my Instagram page, World School JA underscore foundation. Tips and quotes that even my, me myself can stop there for a direction. Stop there and see something that I can make a contribution to, to my life today. That was written maybe last week or last month. That's so important bringing your ideas to reality, to life is, and someone else and millions and hundreds and thousands and billions of people can stop at World School J A underscore foundation for direction. They can see and read and feel and touch something. Something is there that you can hold on to. Something is there that I can hold on to. And this is our mission. This is our aim. This is our contribution back to life. And this is why World School will live. This is work. This is my work. This is my purpose. And I have identified my purpose. And this is how I want to live. I will be doing this for the rest of my life. Why? Because it is meaningful to me. I have something to hold on to with my life. Contributions that I can make for this generation and the next generation and the next generation. For my nieces and my nephews. For my brothers and my sisters. For my children and my grandchildren and my grandchildren children and my grandchildren children children and beyond. That this is my mark. This is this was my work. This is what I did with my time. And in the same breath, I want to ask you this question. Where are you on that? Where are you on that? What are you doing with your life? See, we are all kings and queens in mysterious ways. We have royalty inside of us. We can do this. We can do more. We can create factories, our own factories, making our own clothing designs. We can create factories, making our own brand, branding our own identity, branding our own product. Hello, Tree and Organics. Hello, World School. Hello, S Double Construction. Hello, Startup Business. Hello, Business and Dreams that haven't entered the world yet that is still living in our mind. See, Miles Monroe and Les Brown made an analogy about the graveyard and that the wealthiest place is not the gold mine or the diamond mine. But if you could mine the graveyard like how you would mine gold and oil, you will be the wealthiest person on the planet because there are dreams that never touch life. Books that have never been written. Ideas that has never been exercised. Wow. Wow. What a way to put it. And we are, we still have people living with these ideas in their mind. Wondering and pondering and procrastinating. Still taking our dreams home with us to our grave, leaving us with just a headstone. 
I don't want to be left. I don't want to depart this life with just an headstone. I want to depart this life empty with my work being delivered to reality. This is World School JA Foundation and this is just a start. This is just the start of it. And here we are looking forward to present useful, important information that you can use as a tool to add some meanings and value to your life. And we will work, we'll be, we will be working diligently and creatively. We are going to do it badly until we get it right. This is a bridge that we must cross and we are going to cross it by any means necessary. And when it comes down to living your dreams and living a good life and living the life that, 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 that your hearts desire, no excuse is acceptable. We have a lot to talk about. Help me out. Your caring feedback is valuable. Bye for now.